Hey guys, how you going? This is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Matrices lesson. Today we're going to talk about how to multiply two matrices together. And before we start doing that, I just want to show you guys a real life example of when you would multiply matrices together. So let's use uh, Rugby Union as an example. Okay, so if you live in Australia, you would be quite familiar with how the scores are kept in Rugby Union. Uh, basically, if you score a try, it's worth 5 points. If you score a conversion, it's worth 2 points. And if you score a drop goal, it's worth 3 points. So these are just uh, different ways you can score in rugby. Now let's say we have three teams. Okay, let's say we have, uh, let's say we have the Brisbane team. Actually, let's just do two teams, and the Melbourne team. Okay, and I'm just gonna make up some numbers. So I'm gonna make up uh, the number of tries that each team scores, the number of conversions, and the number of drop goals. And let's say Brisbane has scored 200 tries, uh, 150 conversions, and 50 drop goals. And let's say Melbourne has scored 150 tries, 100 conversions, and 35 drop goals over the period of uh, a season or something like that. I have really no idea about uh, professional rugby union. I'm just making up numbers, so please don't be offended if uh, these numbers don't... Um, suit you or whatever okay so actually to make it a bit harder to predict I'm gonna make this number 80 okay and let's say we have a question of how many points in total did each team score Now, I know you're going to say, well, we don't need matrix matrices for this. All right, I'm just going to 200 times 5 plus 150 times 2 plus 50 times 3. So why do we need matrices? Well, this is exactly why I'm using this example to show you how to multiply matrices, right? Because what you have just said is pretty much how you multiply your matrices. So we have the first matrix which is 200, 150, and 50, 150, 100, 80. Multiply by a second matrix which is 5, 2, 3. And I'm going to put a multiply sign there and it equals and all you have to do is get the numbers in the row of the first matrix multiply by the numbers in the column of the second matrix and so all you do is you go 200 times 5 plus 150 times 2 plus 50 times 3 and uh, you write the write the answer in that position in the final matrix and then you we're going to do the same thing repeat the same thing with the second row so 150 times 5 plus 100 times 2 plus 80 times 3 and the final answer is uh, 
1450 and 1190 okay and this is the total number of points scored by Brisbane and Melbourne okay so Brisbane is the better team sorry Melbourne okay so what you would have noticed is that the first matrix has uh, two rows and three columns and I'm gonna call it matrix A has two rows and three columns and matrix B has three rows and one column okay and the final matrix has two rows and one column okay so let's define some general rules based on what we can see here so this is matrix A, this is matrix B, this is matrix A times B All right so now uh, let's define the general rule if matrix A has an order of n times n okay I'm just gonna draw a line here so we don't get confused if matrix A has an order of m times n in this case m is 2 and n is 3 and matrix B has an order of n times p so I'm gonna make this n and this p then matrix A times B will have an order of uh, M times P as you can see here this number 2 is the same as M over here and this number 1 is the same as this number here so this has worked okay so basically two matrices can only be multiplied if the number of columns in the first matrix is n is the same as the number of rows in the second matrix so let me write that down two matrices can only be multiplied if the number of columns in the first matrix equals the number of rows in the second matrix right which has worked in this case and now let's talk about how to multiply bigger matrices okay so we have two matrices here I've just defined them uh, as A and B and let's firstly write down the order of each matrix or the dimension of each matrix so A has an order of n by n which is uh, 3 by 2 m is number of rows n is number of columns and the second matrix has an order of n times p which is 2 by 3 and so a times b would have an order of uh, m times p which is 3 by 3 and notice how the n of both matrices are the same if you don't have that then you can't multiply them together and when both matrices can be multiplied they are said to be conformable so in this case matrix A and B are conformable because you can multiply them together okay now so we know this is going to be a 3 by 3 matrix so I'm just going to draw the slots in and uh, I'm also going to name this matrix matrix C alright just to make it easier so we're now going to figure out 
how to, what number to put in the first element here which is C11 right row 1 column 1 of C now what do we put in row 1 column 1 of C so I'm gonna draw a line here so you don't get confused C11 is going to be equal to uh, the sum of so remember how we added the products of these elements together so we went 200 times 5 plus 150 times 2 plus 50 times 3 so that is um, called the sum of products of elements in row 1 of A times by column 1 of B okay so what do we have here we have uh, row 1 of A which is that one and column 1 of B which is that one so we're gonna go 2 times 3 plus uh, because that these are both the first element and the second element is 6 times 4 and the answer is 30 okay so we're gonna put the number so C equals, and I'm going to put the number 30 in the first box. Right, and now let's change this 1, 1 to 1, 2. And now what does this mean? This means the sum of products of the elements in row 1 of A times by column 2 of B. Okay, and I'll explain, I will give you the full rule in a second. So I'm going to get row 1 of A times by column 2 of B, which is that. So I have 2 times 5 plus 6 times 2, uh, which is uh, 22. So I'm going to put 22 there. So C12 is 22. Uh, actually, I'm just going to give you the general formula. Okay. So let's say I want to I rename the two numbers as i and j. Row i column j of c, which is the um, product of a and b, is equal to the sum of products of elements in row i row i of matrix A times by column J of matrix B. Right, so basically uh, if you pick any element in matrix C, I'm going to pick this element here. Okay, what row is it in? It's in row number 2. And what column is it in? column 3 so all you do is you multiply row number 2 in the first matrix times by column 3 in the second matrix and you put the answer here alright so basically each element in the product matrix comes from the sum of products of that row in uh, matrix A times by that column in matrix B. So this would be row 2, column 3. Row 2 of the first matrix times by column 3 of the second matrix. Alright, so you guys are going to try and complete this matrix I have below. And I'm just going to do one more to help you guys. I'm going to do this one. Okay, this one here, which comes from so this is C21 comes from row 2 of the first matrix times by column 1 of the second matrix so 7 times 3 plus 5 times 4 which is uh, 41 okay so do the rest come back when you're done and I'll show you the answers so the answers are 
I've done this previously, obviously. So here are the answers. Check that you know how to multiply, and I'll see you guys next time.